So I'm definitely here to do a review, but I highly suggest to read the synopsis so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Because this one is a very tricky film. It's not a bad thing, but you just need to know what you're getting yourself into. So let's jump into my review of the film Chariot. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing reviewing the film Chariot which is going to be in theaters on demand and digital April 15th. Now I know why I wanted to check out this film. Thomas Mann, John Malkovich, and Rosa Salazar who I'm a huge fan of um, and I just at that alone I was like okay haven't seen her in a while in something let's see what this film got and I watched the film without reading the synopsis so by let's say about 40 minutes in i'm like wait what is happening i'm so confused and that's why i'm just going to suggest that you might want to read the synopsis so exactly you know exactly what you're getting yourself into that being said i'm going to read the synopsis for you just so you'll know and it's a story about a corporation and a doctor played by john malkovich um that oversees a process of reincarnation and a young man played by thomas man who becomes glitched in the system after when he encounters a woman rosa salazar he loved in a previous life which is super cool really really dope concept for real for real but if you don't know what's going on you have to think about these reincarnations and what do they mean especially like the last act of the film you're going to be totally blown away um but yeah thomas man plays this uh guy harrison um uh, who just moves into this new apartment complex and this place is weird if you all know what cecil hotel is in la it's got to be right there. I mean, minus the murder. Because Cecil Hotel is definitely known for that. And yeah, but this one, yeah, this one definitely has everything else. Characters, um, all sorts of different personalities, uh, drugs, uh, all sorts of different things happening. And people are also going missing in here as well, too. So yeah, it's pretty much Cecil Hotel, just not. Um, this place is actually called Lafayette. So Lafayette is absolutely cousins with Cecil Hotel, period. So that's the set place where, where, where you're going to go with that. Now, the start of the film is pretty slow. And as I said, it could be confusing if you do not have any clue what's going on. It's broken down into seven chapters. The first and the seventh chapter are kind of the odd chapters of the core catalyst of this story. Which means that the first chapter and the second chapter are their own little thing. As if they were like attachments to like a sequel and a, pre and a prequel. Prequel and sequel. Um, and then the middle is the core of the film where we get to see Harrison stepping into this apartment where he meets Maria, played by Rosa Salazar, who has been a tenant there for a while, who knows the way of the land. Um, and yeah, they get very keen to one another. And there's a lot of discovering going on here and whatnot. And I got to say, like, she is fantastic in this. I mean, the reason why I'm such a fan of hers, not only because she's from the DMV, from this area, but because she knows how to cut it on and off like that that and you're going to see what you will almost call the irate personality in, in maria just float all over she even has this one scene where she has to do a self-tape which is what something would actors do all the time so a self-tape within the film and to really make that just jump off the screen and the way she did was so good and then after she does the self-tape then she turns into like almost another character she's so good as, a, as an actor super criminally underrated shall i say um, and her and Thomas have to have amazing chemistry, I gotta say. It's kind of static at, at times, but kind of tenuous at times, but it, it works. You're paying attention whenever they're, to, whenever they're together. Um, with that being said, if you had no clue, by the third part is when you start to see where things are kind of connected. So, like, fear not if you're getting into this without knowing anything. By you get to the third act, you're really going to see, like, what this story is trying to tell. Also, this talk should really talk about John real quick. Um, John uh, Malkovich, who plays... Uh, Dr. Karn. I mean, what can you say about the guy? He's an OG. And like, he is must watch as well too. Very, very interesting character. And I think he just, the way how he embodies this character and the way how this character is almost a game changer in scenes because it's so unpredictable. You don't know to believe or not to believe, whatever it may be. Um, it's super interesting. And it just almost just takes the whole movie to a whole nother turn, scene to scene. Um, 
there's clues within the film that also kind of helps you understand the elements of it and whatnot like understanding what, what's really happening within it um and you got to pay attention to it so it's a little bit of a mystery to it as well along with the sci-fi stuff but there's definitely a little bit of mystery to it um there was a scene one time where um when uh, Rosa Salazar, Salazar character Maria was asked <laughs> was she like a, a was she like an actor and her response was like yeah I'm pretty much an actor I mean I am an actress anything I've seen before was the question responded back to and I really thought that she was really going to start naming the movies and stuff she had been into when you see that scene it seemed and again because of the acting you almost suspect her to just almost break character because of just how natural it looks in the sense of like, she being asked, are you an actor? The character Maria being asked, are you an actor? It's like, yeah, I'm an actor. And he's like, oh, okay. And then he's like, hey, is there anything I've ever seen before? And Harrison asking that. And then she's like, nah, no. But I really thought she was going to just start naming like, oh, ba ba battle, Alita, Battle Angel, and and, and, and uh, Bird Boss. I thought she was just going to start naming all sorts of random things and whatnot, whatever. Um, but I will say that the film... Uh, if it wasn't already strange enough, the third act is really was like, all right, cool, hold my beer, because it gets crazy, 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 um, and then and then the mysteries really starts to come into play, because this was when Maria disappears, and you still now starting to wonder like, what does this mean? What happened? How did this happen? And also we're still remembering the theme of reincarnation. So how did this play into the part? And because you know him meeting her sort of puts a glitch into things. You start to wonder, like, what does this all mean? So you're kind of playing detective the entire time, trying to make sense of every event that's happening within the story. So it's entertaining. And I will say that it sort of almost feels like Inception in terms of a dream within a dream at times, um, which is interesting. And we all know Inception has so much commentary out there, in which I am here to say that this film will certainly have a lot of commentary coming with out of it, with people giving theories and suggestions and predictions whatever it may be um so i'm expecting you all to do that in the comments but before we wrap up this review i gotta say that um i thought that when we had to connect with harrison and what he's been through having issues with uh sleeping he said he's having the same dream over and over which is why he seeked the doctor and they were going to then you know give him all the proper treatment that he could i mean he truly did exhaust all his different options in order to do so uh, but at this point now they want to do this experimental procedure in order to figure out like what's happening I mean this guy said he's had the same dream thousands of times and he's trying to make sense of it And obviously we all know that if you're having a dream numerous times and that means that it must mean something You know what I mean? And Thomas I think like he does a really good job in making sure that you connect with Harrison Because the movie doesn't work unless you actually care about this person And I think by like the third act you started to say like damn is he alright? You know, like, what's going on with him? And you really very much are optimistic in terms of what will the treatments be. Um, and there's tons of little riddles going on in this. And then there's all sorts of random things happening. And like I said, all of the tenants that lives in this apartment complex, Lafayette, you're getting all sorts of different things here. Um, Vernon Davis is in this, uh, which Vernon Davis is slowly but surely picking up more and more work. Also from the DMV, shall I add? Um, he's been really good in character work. And even in this one, um, was super interesting, which I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm just going to say it has something to do with turtles, and there's that. But there's a lot of characters going on. With that being said, a lot of charisma coming from our actors in this. So, this was a solid film. I really did like it. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, and it definitely had me thinking a lot after, so I really can't wait to check it out. But certainly, you should check it out. Jump in the comments. I need to know your predictions, your thoughts, and so on. Like, your theories. Like, what do y'all? how do y'all think this is all connected? And then there's a closing scene here that really has you thinking like, oh, what does this mean? And you will see, and you will have to figure it out yourself. But yes, jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about it. This is Cherry again. Will be available in theaters on demand digital April 15th. Let me know your thoughts about it. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.